Argentina's newly elected president takes office this week. Now, many may be focused on the country's future, but a new report has raised painful memories of the past. The study claims several major businesses were involved in crimes committed by Argentina's military dictatorship in the 1970s and 80s. Joel Richards reports from Buenos Aires. Kidnappings, right-wing death squads, citizens who simply disappeared, the desaparecidos all victims in Argentina's so-called dirty war. A new report details how businesses, including big multinational corporations, helped Argentina's military junta commit crimes against humanity. We researched 25 companies um, all around the country in Argentina. Um, some of them are multinational companies, such as uh, Mercedes-Benz, uh, Fiat, for example, or Ford. Uh, others are Argentine-based companies, and we found that uh, all of them, in all of these cases, uh, the, business, uh, ma the business managers or business officials were involved in serious violations of human rights. Some say the government commissioned a partisan investigation that put Argentina's business sector in a bad light when the party's chief opponent in the recent presidential election was pro-business. In Congress, the party headed by the president-elect Mauricio Macri abstained from the vote to create Kirchner's commission. The Argentine Business Association said the investigation aimed at stigmatizing business leaders. Despite these studies, human rights groups complain that trials involving companies have been stalled. Over 600 former officers have been sentenced for crimes during the dictatorship, but no corporate executives. In 2013, these three men told CCTV how they were kidnapped from their place of work in the Ford factory outside Buenos Aires. Where you're going, you won't need any identification, these men were told. For years, they had hoped their case would reach the courts. The trial has been delayed and is currently suspended. Internationally, the issue of, of business and human rights has been growing and has been raising increasing concern. So I don't think that the Argentine case is unique in this, but that is part of a, an increasing uh, tendency of uh, studies in this field. So uh, we, we are hoping to, to make a contribution in this. Investigations into the private sector's role of crimes against humanity are revealing a much broader picture of how Argentina's dirty war operated. But as a new government assumes power this week, there is a question mark over whether or not it will continue looking into this country's past. Joel Richards, CCTV, Buenos Aires.